Welcome to this OPC interview. I'm Carrie Tobin. I'm an associate of OPC. And I am absolutely thrilled to be okay. here with Maureen <laughs> Jennings today. Maureen is author of many books, uh, the Murdoch Mystery Series, Christine Morris. And she has also the trilogy Season of Darkness. The first book is out, and she is currently working on her second one. Today, Maureen and I are going to talk about creativity together. Sounds very good. <laughs> Maureen and I go way back. Yes. Maureen has been a key person in my life, both in my individual, individual development and as the creative being I am in the world. One thing that I want to keep exploring is how can I bring uh, creativity into my practice as a therapist. I remember working with this woman again, and we weren't getting very far. It, she was very, very controlled and she, very shy, and she just we weren't getting anywhere. And then one day, she actually gave me a gift, and she brought in um, a hanging that she had made, mm. and it was so beautiful because I was pretty new at the game at that point. And I and I thought I didn't say this to her, but I thought if you can do that there's something we can reach. And it, it encouraged me. I mean, she, I hope she never knew I was getting a bit discouraged, but it, we didn't seem to be getting anywhere. And so just that beauty that she showed there, I thought, wow. Yeah. And so from there, we were able to, uh, it was, something, it's true. Something it, it opened up. something up and I felt it, we could, I knew it was there and it was a matter of getting to it. And, and that, that encouraged me to be a little less orthodox about because so not everyone is comfortable just sitting and talking and mm -hmm. so sometimes I get people to draw and paint or do something where they which bypassed the words and that was always yeah. really helpful. Yeah. I'm also thinking about parallels with my therapy with you because you know way back when <laughs> I started seeing you and that it was in your way of holding me with mm -hmm. that no judgment and feeling like you were seeing me, that I was able to um, like have the courage to go into women's group for one thing, and then with also the, that kind of broader support to be able to do my clown which was so terrifying. Carrie is one of the bravest people I've ever met. It was Holy so cow, You think, clown, oh, no problem, but blow up balloons. But it was mask work, and yeah, it plunged yeah. us into the unconscious, like, so profoundly yeah. that, yeah. So, but I know without you and without my women's group that I never would have had the courage to to go to clown and in doing the clown that that started opening up my own creativity. So it was like in, you know, having uh, my relationship with you that... <laughs> <laughs> We've gone through a lot of things together. We have. And me. We have. And that's what, you know, I was thinking about, like I'm an example of what therapy can do for somebody and how that in turn can open up someone's creativity and again not to limit it you know mm -hmm. like someone may discover they have uh, you know a passion for hockey or whatever <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, but it's true. like just that in being witnessed by another person with that empathy and with um, that more an objectivity that I was able to just start to open up and that that allowed me to move forward and go into my creativity from there. Well, see, I think you made a good point, many good points, but certainly <laughs> clown, oh, oh, that's lovely, Carrie, you know, but, or oh, creativity isn't that lovely, but when you're sort of there, emotionally naked, it's very scary, and a lot of people 
back right off. Right, oh, I'm not creative, or no, I don't want to go there, or whatever. But really, it's because it's it's too vulnerable. It makes them feel too vulnerable, and that's why you need a very warm, secure environment where you can feel okay. That's all right. Doesn't matter if I cry or shake or whatever I do because they're going to be there for me. Absolutely. And it, it's hugely important. It really is. And I can't imagine doing it any other way because how yeah. can you be vulnerable if you know you're going to be met with judgment and criticism? Yeah. I, there's no way I could go there. One of the things I often say, obviously, is you've got to learn your craft. Mm -hmm. You know, I have an editor editing my book or whatever, and she's going to say things to me, which is important, but but not initially. Initially, it's simply having that womb, that room and that womb mm -hmm. to just start saying, I, w I want to try this, I want to try that. And, mm -hmm. and, and I know it's true, like that we, that sounds great, but it's actually hard. Therapy's hard. Yes. It's scary as hell. Yes. And yet it's absolutely worth it. I knew that you went through your own therapy, you mm -hmm. know, that you went through your own therapeutic process. And, and also, and in a way, that kind of ended up forming creative groups too, like your experience um, at, the, at the farm and, yeah. you know, creating yeah. a, a creative group. It just helps, you know, like I, I'm not on this uh, path on my own, you know, that you understood that what that entailed. And that's mm -hmm. what I often say in the first session with my clients, depending on where they're coming in, you know, but it's like, I know what it's like to be in, mm -hmm. in that chair. I've mm -hmm. also, you know, I'm on my own journey. You know, I don't have all the answers. <laughs> what? You don't have all the answers? No, <laughs> I don't. But we can do it together. And it is that whole thing of being connected with another person and yeah. to be connected with that creative group that kind of gives us the strength to, to do that. Well, I found out many, many, many years later that I was the very first client that my therapist ever had. And I, I was so nervous at the first session and I remember having this sort of little thought he seems a bit nervous to me but couldn't you know never oh no 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 this is the therapist and blah 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 and then later on he did say well you were my <laughs> first client <laughs> so he was like oh what am I gonna do but to me too that's like you know that little voice right it's like and that's that little voice that in creative group you are always encouraging us to listen to right <laughs> are you nervous <laughs> yeah yeah right no, but it's like that's hmm, true oh yes right? the power of that area of ourselves i i still don't totally fathom it it's fathomless i am amazed at it all the time and I do always feel like if we can live from that place or connect with that place most of the time, we're going to have a very rich life. But it's so easy to push it aside. You know, in that instance, I mean, I, I don't know if I had recognized he was really nervous, if I'd have felt better or not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> You don't want your surgeon going, <laughs> where is that tooth again? <laughs> no. no, yeah, definitely.